Hello, arty peoples, and welcome to another episode of Jerry's Live. Uh, this week, we have a fun episode. Oh, oh, my name is Emmy Klein, by the way. <laughs> I am your host this evening. Um, and this episode right now is Jerry's Live 184. So uh, we have a very fun episode planned. I'm, I'm a little nervous about it, to be honest, uh, even though it was my idea. So as you can see, I have a mystery art box. Uh, the crew, uh, a couple weeks ago, decided to fill this up with art supplies, and I have been locked out of it. There is an actual lock. I probably shouldn't tip this. Uh, there's an actual lock on this. I cannot open it, and Katie has the keys. So I have no idea what's in here. Um, and they also put together the teacher's cart uh, that you guys can actually look up all the supplies that are in here um, and the canvas that I'm gonna be using. If you go to jerrysartorama.com and in the search bar, type in the code JL184. And then you can see everything that I'm gonna be using to, in today's episode. So um, I, we did have a slight miscommunication <laughs> issue uh, where I was saying to Katie that she should probably get the girls together everyone pick like 15 items and then narrow it down to about five well they thought what I meant by that was they were gonna pick 15 items put them in here and then I will pick the five items but I wrote the description of the show saying that I will use everything in this box to make one piece of art so I will let you guys decide if I get to choose my five like Katie thought that I was going to be doing, or if I have to just use all 15 items in this box. Uh, I'm okay with either way. You guys decide. Tell me which way I'm going to go. So um, the one thing with that is I did get two canvases. Uh, these are the Yes canvas. Uh, this is a panel. It's a 12 by 16 size. The reason why I specifically chose this is because the Yes canvas accepts all media. It takes oil, acrylic, watercolor, any dry drawing media, all of it. It takes everything. So I knew I could use this canvas for whatever they gave me. <laughs> um, I did leave one of them is blank because I, I didn't know how to prep for this show. I, I have no idea what's in there. But the other one, I did actually draw a quick illustration sketch that has been kind of rattling around in my head where someone's pouring coffee directly into someone's brain. So um, I have options for just kind of winging it and a more planned out kind of illustration. I don't know which one I'm gonna use. It depends on what's in here. So um, before I actually open this guy up, uh, I did wanna to talk to you guys about, we do have right now a contest going on, the ninth annual self-portrait contest. So uh, my team will be putting in the links in the chat below, but if you don't see the link, feel free to go to Jerry's Artorama website, uh, which is jerrysartorama.com. And in the top section, there is a tab that says artist resources. In there, there is a link to all of our contests. Now, the specifics with this actual uh, self-portrait contest that we have going on, it ends April 18th, 2021, and there are over $5,000 in prizes. Now the first place gets 2,000 of those $5,000 and then it gets smaller from there, but it's a really awesome uh, just way of not only uh, entering a contest uh, if you wanna practice, but you know, the prizes are incredible. And it's a self-portrait. You have the ability to paint your face at any point in time or draw it. Uh, any media is accepted. So the one thing that we do not accept is uh, photography. So please do not give us selfies. I don't want to see pictures of you where the camera is like this, this angle. We want art. Uh, now, if you take those pictures and you start tearing them apart and collaging and doing actual mixed media art with it, we will accept that. But photography, straight photography, we will not accept. So get started now. With that, without further ado though, Let's open up the box of art supplies. Katie, Katie? hopefully I don't get hit in the face. Ha! I caught it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this is the first time I've ever been able to uh, officially open this guy. It has officially begun. All right. You had to. You had to. What? I had a feeling I was going to get some weird stuff, but all right. Let me let me explain what I have going on in here. 
really just one? All right, um, we have a sponge, a sea sponge. <laughs> Katie's laughing. Um, this is really great for applying different textures down to your uh, canvas and your, uh, your panel um, sea sponge. They usually come in a pack of all kinds of different sponges, so it's usually not just one, but you definitely <laughs> gave me just one. Um, I also have these little uh, squeezy pipettes, which you can pick up your, um, you know, like liquid uh, art supplies and just drop it down, or I guess make science with them. <sighs> all right, uh, Golden Rit ink. This is Midnight Sapphire. Uh, this is a fountain pen ink. <laughs> Um, I honestly, is this waterproof? I have no idea. I'm going to find out if it's waterproof. I don't think so, but I have uh, Usually to fountain pen ink is no. not waterproof, so I'm not sure if that's waterproof or not. We'll have to kind of experiment with it, which is the entire point of the show. Um, one pastel. Just one. <laughs> uh, this is the Soho... Uh, Urban Artist Street Pastel, uh, which is, this is a chonky, chonky pastel. Uh, this is in Deep Peach Blow, which is a really fun purpley kind of color. I, pastel, but that's a, that's a dry, yeah, that's a dry pastel. So, um, this is what I reacted to when I first opened it. <laughs> These are the funny brushes, because they think they funny. Um, this is, it's like a rubber, uh, just bristle, but it's, it's not a, a bristle. A it's, it's like a rubber band in a brush form, but they're really fun for putting down all kinds of textures, which hopefully I have something in here that will give me texture because I don't know how I would apply that with, like, we'll, we'll figure it out. Um, then I have a bamboo sketch pen, which these are really fun. Um, this is, uh, again, just like a dip pen. Um, but it's made out of bamboo. Uh, this is the wipeout tool. So it is, the tips of these are actually, uh, hard rubber. So, um, you can actually manipulate, manipulate your, uh, paint supplies, uh, on the surface or apply it with this. This is, uh, really fun. They have the dual tips. So this is like more of like a chisel tip. And then this one's pointy. And then there is a jumbo jet, uh, white oil impregnated charcoal pencil. So this is a white charcoal with, it's got pink on the end. <laughs> I think that's probably from the pastel. It might've hit or, or not, I don't know. But um, this is a, a white charcoal pencil, but it has oil in the actual pencil. So um, this is probably going to have to kind of come at the end if I have other water-based media because otherwise the oil in that might repel some of the water soluble. Um, yeah, there's definitely pastels in here, but the oil will probably repel the actual um, water soluble media. Uh, oh, thank God you gave me brushes. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is the Berlin and the McKillinsky uh, short handle brush set of 12. So there are brush. You didn't take them out because you didn't just like replace it with something. Get my hopes up. Whoo, yeah, we're good. I think okay. you need something to paint with. Thank you. I mean, I can finger paint. That's an option. Okay, so we have brushes. We have real brushes. Uh, so this is a combination of the Berlin, um, the, the Creative Mark Berlin brushes that are really good for, you can actually use these for uh, the water-based medias like acrylic, but you can also use them for oils. Um, they're nice and soft. And then one of my favorites is the Mimic Kalinsky Sable, which is not actually Kalinsky Sable, but it's a synthetic version. So it's super soft and um, a, a really fun brush. And thank you for giving me the short handle. I prefer short handles. And we got Turner Curl Gouache, which is one of my favorites. Um, okay, you didn't, you didn't take them out of the box either. <laughs> thank you. So this is just a full set of the acrylic gouache, which is a like an acrylic and a gouache had a baby. So it's um, matte like a gouache and kind of reacts similarly to it, um, but it is more permanent like an acrylic. And then we have, I knew something had to sparkle. 
Katie's laughing at me. Uh, this is the Liquitex iridescent medium. <laughs> I knew somebody had to put something sparkly in there. And there's more sparkly. Okay. So this is a, it is a medium to prepare, adjust, and um, put into your paints. It, you can, uh, yeah, that's, I'm just double checking here. You can mix this in with your paints or you can actually apply it on its own. Um, I have no idea how I'm going to use that. And speaking of sparkly things, this is the, um, the pale gold. This is a, what is, what is the word for this? Like a, like a sumi ink kind yes. of. Yeah. Okay. That's what I, that's what I was trying to think of. Technically, I'm. We, I think we call it a Japanese watercolor sumi e porcelain pan something. <laughs> a porcelain pen it's something. It's pretty. No, it's, it's uh, essentially a gold watercolor. Uh, I, I refer to it kind of like a sumi ink where it is water soluble and will give you a very opaque um, kind of coverage. But it is the gold, uh, and I've used this before. It's it's got that like really sparkly, beautiful gold going throughout it. So I'm kind of excited about this. Again, don't know what I'm gonna do. Charcoal. You gave me char <laughs> willow charcoal. <laughs> um, unless it's not willow charcoal. I feel I I feel like this, the level of shenanigans is gonna be really high with this. I just don't know if you guys have like gotten my hopes up and all of a sudden I'm going to open it and it's a tube of okay. medium or something. I don't know. Um, okay, yes, yeah, so we got some willow charcoal. And then Flow Expressions, the needle tip bottles, um, which is really, I mean, these are really awesome to apply. Uh, I've used these for the glass paints before. I've also used these to apply um, like a very fine, uh, I guess, kind of line of very fluid inks and stuff like that or just use it like a squeezy bottle um but these these are really fun and then we have this was you katie wasn't it that was not me no all right it's turquoise paint we have uh sennelier abstract innovative acrylics in turquoise um which i'm kind of surprised that that wasn't you katie because that, that katie's favorite color is turquoise i mean so is mine let's be honest i'm Super happy about this. And that's that, my friends, is all of the art supplies in the mystery art box. Oh, man, what am I going to do? Now, hey, if you guys like this art show concept, please hit the like button so I know whether or not we need to bring this uh, whole show back because I feel like this is going to be a fun one. It can only get weirder from here. It can only get weirder. They'll get wor worse and worse ideas. And hey, if you guys have ideas for the next show and want to see another one, feel free to let Katie and the crew know what you uh, think you should put in the box next time. All right. Um, so I can either go kind of more abstract or I can do my illustration idea. Um, I like the idea of pushing myself and doing the illustration. I just don't know if I'm going to actually be able to finish this in time. So I think I'm going to take the easy way out <laughs> and go more abstract, especially because, like, looking at the charcoal. I guess, uh, have they made their votes? Do I have to use all of it or get to? Oh, you have to use all of it. Okay. I love you guys. You can and then just... real quick before they do, all of those, we did prep the teacher's cart beforehand. All of those are, if you put that keyword, so if they have any questions Perfect. about those, they're all in there. Yes, all of these items are in the teacher's cart. I have been uh, not allowed to look at it or look it up or anything along those lines. Um, so I, I had no idea what was in here. But if you are not sure about any of these items, uh, go to the Jerry's Art Arama website, type in the code JL184. All of these will pull up and you can actually see all the descriptions and the details on those items. So now I have to use them. But I think what I'm going to do is, okay, brushes I'm going to put over here, applicators. I'm going to kind of give myself um, a, a, a game plan, a game plan, I guess. Why are there so many applicators? <laughs> Um, oh, and I also have a bowl of water and a, I also grabbed the, um, 
an oil brush cleaner just in case I didn't know they would give me oil paints or not so I don't need that but I am gonna need the bucket of water so these are my paints okay, let me put that there um, drawing media drawing media this is technically a drawing media but it's I kind of put it in between the paint and the drawing um, drawing media these are all applicators and then I have my beautiful watercolor so this I feel like is gonna need to go down first but it's so opaque I can probably go on top of the acryl gouache um, I need to channel channel my inner Ophelia uh -huh. that's what I need to do Ophelia if you're watching give me those vibes I need I need some like real funky abstract something going on so I'm gonna do what Ophelia does I'm gonna take some charcoal and I'm going to put something down on this canvas just to get it not white. So um, I am gonna channel my inner Ophelia here. Haha! <laughs> There's something. Um, now the cool thing about the Willow Charcoal is that I can actually still manipulate it and I'm going to definitely be able to do something with it because it's gonna move while I continue to um, put more and more stuff on here. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna use that with that. You guys are throwing me off here. Um, I guess I can also use the pipettes. I'm only gonna use one pipette, okay. Uh, I can use the pipettes with the ink as well as the drawing thing. The funny brushes. Set the timer, should have gone 45 minutes. Yep. All right, um, let me just start doing something because uh -huh. otherwise you guys are gonna stand here and like look at me just going. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, um, the cool thing, I love these sommelier bags. These are really, really useful. I feel like I u waste way less paint when I use these. Um, Cause it, it's like a sleazy bag. So I'm going to, I have zero plan on this. Um, I'm gonna pop in some of this turquoise with a funny brush. So you see how like it's giving me really fun texture. I wonder how, is this like a heavy body? Um, I can't remember this, this it, yeah, this is a heavy body. Uh, acrylic so this actually will kind of retain its texture uh, as it dries which is really fun so wherever I put the sennelier is probably going to remain quite textured and I just want to kind of pop blues here and there into my composition Um, let me put that, I guess let me put that over there. Uh, okay, I've used both of my funny brushes. Y'all think you funny. <laughs> That's the only appropriate way to say that. <laughs> it's a funny brush. Okay, and Mom I've used- says she's getting mermaid vibes. Mermaid vibes? <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna put iridescent medium in it, yeah. so I mean, I feel like a mermaid situation. I'm gonna have to go with that, all right? Yep. Okay, so that was acrylic and the charcoal. So I'm going to, I'm gonna put everything I start using over here. Um, that way I can kind of separate it to make sure that I've used it all. <laughs> Oh, there's just so much. <laughs> okay. Um, let me uh, give my, my ink a little bit of a shake here. Um, Cause this is the, the one thing with fountain pen ink is that some of the pigments will kind of fall to the bottom. So just give it a good shake when you have that uh, going on. But I am excited about it being a midnight sapphire. That's a really pretty color. I wanted to test that out. So. so pretty. Mm -hmm. 
Um, let's do the bamboo sketch pen. So the cool thing is that it is dual sided, um, but it is really fun. Quite a large kind of sketch pen, but dip it and you can. That's technically the giant. Yes. Sketch pen. It's, it's real big. Um, I wonder if I can, yeah, you can also use like the side of it, which is really fun. But I mean, even though it is very large, I'm getting really fine lines here. You guys said mermaid, we're going with mermaid. If I can draw really well, sorry, I kind of messed up that one, but that's okay, we'll cover it up later. Um, now, I did want to actually kind of get some of the water mixed in with that blue. Such a pretty blue color. All right, so. And we're gonna actually take some of this, the sea sponge, get it wet a little bit here. No promises that this will be a great painting. <laughs> I got some mermaid scales up here though. All right, let's put some mermaid scales over here to kind of fishy. I don't want them everywhere. Um, maybe some over here. Just like drawing little U's everywhere. Alright. That is a really pretty blue ink. Isn't that pretty? I like it. Um, yeah. you know what? Ha ha! like the weirdest thing I've ever done. Ooh, splatter. <laughs> All right, pick up some of that water too. I'm gonna destroy this table, okay. but luckily we have more of the covering, so. <laughs> Um, I think that's probably good for that. All right, so a sketch, pipette. I'm gonna use my sea sponge just a little bit more. <laughs> I really actually like how, um, and it's hard to see um, right now, that ink is starting to go into the, the crevices of that heavy body acrylic. Uh, I mean, the, the, oop, and it's moving. It's obviously my ink is still wet, but my acrylic is actually still wet too, but it's um, just kind of spreading out through those uh, little cracks and the, the little grooves that I put in there. All right, mermaidy. Use my sea sponge. And I use the pipette, so I'm just gonna put the rest of them over here. You don't have to use all of them. Thank you so much for that. Um, all right, I think I'm gonna actually put, I have no idea what I'm doing there. Um, Kind of want that to dry a little bit before I start going in with the pastel, but we're just gonna do it anyway. Ooh, that's fun with the ink actually uh, mixes in with the pastel. I kind of like that, that's fun. And now it's on the actually wet ink, but we're gonna do this anyway. All right, so technically this is the golden red ink um, and the pastel um, 
kind of getting mixed in together over here. That's really pretty. And I can feel that uh, heavy body Sennelier acrylics just started to dry over here because I can feel that texture as I'm going over it. Um, but not all of it's dry, for sure. Now I understand how Ophelia, what with the, oh, there's a hairdryer. Yes. Um, for right now, I'm okay. Might, might snag the hairdryer in a minute though. But I understand how Ophelia ends up with like all kinds of fun colors on her hands. <laughs> you just gotta kind of smush your art supplies around. I have to say, this is probably a really good way to get through artist block. Yes, this would be a really fun way if you if you do have artist block just to kind of play with your art supplies for sure. And I now I'm gonna have some stained fingers. <laughs> oh well, it's not the first time I have funny colors on my hands. That's what an apron is for. Also, I don't know if the apron is added to the cart, but this we do have. Uh, it's really fun. It's a crossback um, apron, and I mean. I'm usually not a very messy painter because I'm very organized and like I usually have a plan, but um, I, I just can't with this one. <laughs> um, so I, I'm, I'm going to get messy and like if I need to do this, it's kind of nice. Alright. Um, you know what? Yeah, can I have that hair dryer? Look okay. under your table and see if there's I might have one. Oh, I do have one. Look down the word according to there's one there. Excuse me. Okay. Uh, I have a feeling that this ink is going to start moving once I turn this on. Reminds me of the um, like right there the uh, alcohol ink where it kind of like gets those like layers. It's really fun. I kind of want more of that to be honest. Um, then we go back in with some of this willow charcoal. I have a feeling uh, everyone's probably sitting there going, you should do this next time. <laughs> like this awful, weird item that you should use next time. All right. Kind of like that. All right. Um, I forgot a curl wash. I have a curl wash. Uh, do, 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 do. I have no idea. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> We're gonna do. It's it's still very abstract right now. Yep, that's that's the wet. Oops. Um, really do like that. I'm gonna go with in with more golden red ink. Cause it's it's almost like at an angle. I get like these purple shimmers, which really fun. Funny, uh, right where I put the pastel, you can see that that is kind of uh, repelling the ink a little bit. Oop, that was bubble. All right. Oop, 
that was a lot more than I thought. My bad. <laughs> These are just happy accidents. All right. Katie's telling me that we are about halfway done with our time, so I still have a lot of stuff that I need to use. Um, I should have used these for the last time I just dripped that in. Dang it. Um, that's okay. I will use them now. So, um, just gonna suck up some water. And let's go with cobalt blue hue. So because this is a acrylic gouache, it is very concentrated. You don't need a whole lot of, uh, oh, I might need, I might need scissors to cut this open. Yeah. Can I have those please? <laughs> Look at Katie being prepared. Thank you. All right. So uh, the acrylic gouache is highly pigmented, so you don't need a whole lot of paint to water. I had probably about this much water, yep, and just a little bit of paint. Um, and it's not all the way on the right way, so now it's leaking. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just making a mess. All right. I just added the apron to the teacher's cart, so if there's any questions about that, it's on there now, too. Perfect. Add in a couple of these colors. <laughs> I'm just making a big mess. This is great. I know. <laughs> As I now have a blue hand. Uh, so, okay. I technically used two colors. I don't know where the cap to this went. There it is. Got it. I used two colors with the acrylic gouache. I used the bottles. Alright, we got these items still. Um, and I think for that, I'm going to use a little bit more of the Heavy Body Acrylic. Um, come on, squeeze out, squeeze. There we go. Uh, Ooh, 
think that was a lot more than I thought it was. It's okay. Just making fun textures. Oop, now I got some more of that ink in there. I gotta say the cool thing about this canvas is that it still has not like buckled or moved at all. It's still just nice and flat. some blobs of paint over here. Actually make it be something than just a hot mess on a canvas. Okay. Alright, um, my brushes. I'm going to use Berlin brushes for the iridescent medium, which I could mix in to this wet paint that I have actually going on over here. Sort of mixed it in. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna use the funny brushes again. I also forgot that I had a uh, palette. <laughs> I did grab a palette just because I was like, oh, I could use this, because uh, I'm allowed, but I forgot. It's okay. Who needs a palette when you're just making hot mess on the canvas? <laughs> So this iridescent medium is quite thin, so it actually will lay pretty flat. So unlike the, the heavy body acrylics, um, it is going to level out, but it does have that shimmer to it because I knew they would not be able to resist the shimmer. say I have a, a plan. I have like 12% of a plan. Movie? Anybody? Anybody know where that movie's from? Or that line from the movie? No? Eh? Guardians of the Galaxy. I watch that way too much. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Iridescent Media is on. Um, I am going to need that to dry before I do these last two. Um, I also got paint on that. Uh, where'd my hair dryer go? Um, you know what? I'm gonna also just take some of this off just to kind of get it to dry a little bit faster. I don't know how we're doing on time, Katie. We're about 20 minutes. Okay, we have 20 minutes left. <laughs> Let me see if I can get this a little bit more dry before I start going in with the. Uh, Jumbo Jet White and this really pretty gold. Is that all that's left? That's all that's left. And then I have the, the, the brushes, of course, but I use the Berlin to apply the uh, iridescent medium. And then, um, yeah, I, I have the Mimic Kolinsky Sables that I'm going to use for the, the gold. And then I think that's it. 15 items. I totally doubted myself. Let <laughs> me get that on high. Let's see. Probably better that I put it on low. So I do have to be aware that the blobs of the teal that I have kind of going through are still going to be wet. It's going to be wet for a little bit, uh, even after this hair dryer. Um, that is going to take a little bit longer to dry because it is so thick. 
But it should be dry by tomorrow. Um, definitely have some spots where the ink and the paint are still just a little bit wet, but this is why I do love the Creative uh, Creative Mark water bucket water water bucket. I can say words um, because like this is what I typically do is I usually have most of my pigments kind of washed off in the big uh, section. And then I usually have one other uh, well that I let it get really dirty. And then I usually have one well that's still very clean. Mm, okay. So I can use this clean water on this. And how dry is, nope, the iridescent medium is still wet. Um, let me pull it down a little bit. Like a seascape. Coral reef. Why not? All right. Um on that. That's so wet. <laughs> this is what happens when I got a time limit. This kind of reminds me of the Great Barrier Reef. Absolutely gorgeous. One of the Suzanne said, I see some coral reef happening. Oh yeah. That's um I did actually go diving in the Great Barrier Reef. Uh I had a really awesome opportunity when I was younger because I had uh, really good grades. And I took a trip to Australia for 20 days with a student ambassador program. And I got to snorkel on the, the Great Barrier Reef and it was just unbelievably gorgeous um 
one of the, the coolest things, and I will never forget that. But I will say the one thing that I was not expecting is that you, you have to tread water uh, or um, stay off the reef the entire time. You cannot rest. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, you're, you're only in about four feet of water, uh, but you can't actually touch the reef, otherwise you kill it. So you have to just sit there and be treading the entire time. And I was, I was exhausted by the time I was done. But it was just uh, the coolest thing ever. Um, and I also got to see the giant clamshells that once your shadow went over top of it, um, they would snap shut, which is really cool. That's cool. Yeah. Which actually, I can do a giant clamshell here. Here we go. My. They looked really weird. Yay! I also saw a sea cucumber for the first time ever. Those things are weird. <laughs> we have a couple people who say they see a mermaid sitting in the back. Probably a little too close to it right now. Just I, I can't see it, but I love that you do. I will probably take a step back and be like, oh yeah. I right now just kind of making a mess. <laughs> Alright, so I still have to use this gold. I'm making my clamshell purple. It's a purple clam. All right, so let's use this gold. Um, I'm gonna actually get a lot more water with this guy. Kind of start to move it around just to activate that gold. Just like you would with a watercolor. So pretty. Mm hmm. This is the right brush to do this with, but we're gonna do some little. Probably need a little bit more than that. Yeah, see that um that blue uh, midnight blue ink, the gold red ink is actually picking back up. So I'm gonna have to go in and just not do what I was going to do and just put in some real big chunks of gold because it's mixing in with the blue and it's looking like a mess and not what I wanted. I wanted to have little golden fishies, but that, that blue ink is picking back up. So it's not letting me do that. So no, that uh, that ink is not waterproof. <laughs> Things that are good to know. Now you know. Yes, I do. But I had a I had a hunch because most most fountain pen inks aren't um, waterproof. Some of them are, but you really have to make sure you look. All right. I think the other thing I'm gonna do. How are we doing on time? Ten minutes. You run your mind. Ten minutes. All right. I'm going to do a little splatter, which this is how it usually ends up in my face and in my hair. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna take my brush, get a lot of this like gold on there, just kind of tap it. Up. Oh, it's yep. Back splash. The other thing you can do is uh, flick your paintbrush, but 
We have somebody asking, Marguerite is asking, could you mix that with the white from the other set and get less mixing with the other colors or uh, in the pearlescent medium? Pearlescent medium, you would. The iridescent, well, the iridescent medium. Uh, you can definitely mix this in with your paints and get a more opaque version of the paint, but it's, like, if I were to mix this in with white, I'd get an iridescent white. If I mix this in with pink, I'd get an iridescent pink. If I mix it in with the gold, this doesn't have enough of an opaque pigment, and this also doesn't have enough of that opaque gold to give you that full coverage. Um, well, I'm, this does give you full coverage, but it's, it's mixing in with the blue. Like, you can see up here where it's actually not mixing in, because I have that Turner Acryl Wash, and it's really nice and opaque, but down here where I was trying to do my little fishies, it, it's, I put too much of that blue ink on there, and so it's just picking it right back up and t mixing in with the blue. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. I'm okay with that. Let me do, you know what? Let me actually mix it in. I'm gonna go with the Opera Red. And I'm gonna actually use a palette this time, if I can. That's allowed. Opera Red. Oop. There we go. And I'm going to use my iridescent medium. Oop, that just came out way too much, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mix them together. I blobbed it too much. We have a watcher on Facebook would like to know why you prefer the short handle of brushes. Um, because I'm short. Just kidding. Um, it's it's just one of those things that um, if I want to uh, have a little less control over my paintbrush, I hold it back here. Uh, whereas like a long handle brush, it would be sticking out. Um, but I tend to choke up because I have an illustration background. So I usually have complete control over my brush and I have a hard time letting that go. So I find that the, the short handle brushes let me really control my media. Um, I guess a little bit more. So this is where I had that uh, heavy body acrylic and the texture is, it's starting to dry. So the texture is still there. Um, and I'm just hitting the tops of that with this pink iridescent medium. We have some pink up here too. Oh, that was way too much, but that's okay. Take it off with your hand. <laughs> All right, I think that's about as much damage as be able to do to this thing. Uh, that was really fun. I am kind of glad that I did not go with the one that I had planned because I knew I knew I could make that work. I just this is when you when you don't have a plan and you start just kind of making a mess. This is where really fun things happen. And this is what I used to do when I was in uh, college. When I was uh, studying at Ringling, I would get a canvas and I would just make a complete mess with all of my art supplies. And it really tells you kind of uh, more of a way to kind of really mix them in together. And when you start mixing this in with that and kind of what it can do, that's when the other ideas start going off in your brain. And you're like, ooh, I can do this or I can do that. And then next thing you know, especially like, like Katie said, if you have a block, this is an amazing way of getting out of it. Because if you start messing with your media, you know, you'll start figuring out things that you didn't realize that it could do. And so then all of a sudden, you have 17 ideas. And you're just like, oh, we're good. <laughs> I 
no, no need to stop painting now because I, I am ready to keep going, you know? All right, I think I'm calling it, I made, a, I made a thing with 15 things. Yeah. High five. Yeah. All right, guys, that was the Mystery Art Box Show. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I'm going to need, I don't know if I have any art supplies in my face right now. But, um, do, good, am I good? Here. Yay! Uh, I definitely have it on my hands, and I'm going to be scrubbing this off my skin for days. Um, but I, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Please make sure you hit the like button if you want to see me do this challenge again. Uh, because we can always bring back the mystery art box. Or if they have ideas for the next mystery box, tell them to put them in the comments. Because I'm curious what they... Yes, come if you come up with an idea of a weird combination of art supplies that you want to see me try out and you want to try and stump me, please put it in the comments. Uh, Katie and the crew and I will also be reading back through it. Of course, I have no control over what goes in the mystery art box. That is entirely up to them. But we can give them ideas and they can see just exactly how evil they can get. <laughs> but um, it, was, it was really fun. I'm, I had a blast here. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, now, if you guys decide that you want to try to make art with all these things, you absolutely can do your own mystery art box challenge at home. Or maybe if you know an artist, uh, tag them in with JL184 and tell them that they have to now go to the mystery art box challenge because that would be fun. And I mean, I think you should challenge your art, your art friends uh, just to step out of their comfort zone. Maybe they're oil painters and they've never played with any of this, but it's, it's a fun way of kind of letting loose and, and playing with media that you normally wouldn't be able to, I guess, either try or uh, wouldn't buy for yourself. So, um, like I said, this is uh, the art episode is JL184. If you go to Jerry's Artorama, type in the search bar uh, the code JL184, and the, the teacher's cart will come up with all of the things that I had to use today, uh, including the Yes Canvas, and um, I think even the, the Mystery Art Box is an item that we sell, and you can actually, it's, it's a tote box, uh, which is really fun for plein air painting, or if you're traveling, you know, that's one of those things that you can actually use as a, not just an art box <laughs> challenge. Um, but if you go to do any of this, or if your friends, if you've challenged them and they do any of this, please be sure to tag us. They have the Jerry's Live Facebook group, which is a community of artists, and uh, you know I'm part of it as well. So if you post things, uh, you know you can get great feedback from not just me, but from all artists all over the world. It's international, uh, and then you can also tag it um, on the Jerry's live Facebook group, but then I have my own page, which is under Emmy, host of Jerry's Live. I always have to remember that. Uh, so you can find me there. You can actually interact with me uh, straight on th in that uh, page. And then if you go on Instagram, tag Jerry's Artorama, tag the JL184, and you can tag me, which is, my handle is misscakes.art. Or if you want to go check out any of the other art things that I do, uh, that's also another way to find out my art stuff. So uh, be sure to join in next week, of course, because I'm not going to be doing as crazy uh, a thing as this, but I'm going to actually be doing an introduction to oil painting. Uh, so we are going to start from the very beginning, and I'm going to teach you kind of how to, to basically start an oil painting. Uh, and then the next week after that, we're going to continue. So it's going to be coming more and more advanced. So I hope you guys join me on that. Uh, and again, my name is Emmy Klein. This was Jerry's Live. And I hope you guys had fun. Thank you so much for joining me.